Well, it's an absolute pleasure to be joined by Harry and by Alfie from Hudson Taylor. How are you getting on? Uh, hello. Very good. Thanks. How are you? Great. It's absolutely great to be chatting to you both. And uh, I feel like well, every time we chat, it's about new music, which is great. And of course, um, a gig as well, or I should say many gigs. But before we get to that, let's talk about the brand new single, Hold Out Hope. Hold out hope, I should say. I'm freeing that wrong. I was like, it's out today. It's not out today. It's already out. Hold out hope because better days will come. So who wants to start? Who wants to tell us all about this single? Um, I'll start. Sure, go on. Uh, is that, it's kind of a happy, sad song, really. Um, I suppose the main thing is optimistic and hopeful. It's about holding out uh, hope for better days and, and that they will come. Um, but it's also about recognising that, yeah, Bad things have happened and um, some some of these things are beyond your control. And sometimes the only thing you can do is it is hope. You know, um, you can't change a global pandemic. You can't change some of these things yourself, but you can certainly hope for it. And yeah, yeah. So I, I think it's a hopeful message overall um, with some darkness layered in there somewhere. I think though after the, the time that we've all had, we just, you know, hope was something that we all were holding on to and clinging on to and we mm. needed it, especially through the dark days. Now, Harry, I know you you're enjoying the sunshine um over where you are, but um talk to us about this third album. The third album, Searching for the Answers, which we're still searching for. And I think we found a few I found a few answers out in the last couple of years, and one of them is like you know, a question I didn't know I needed to answer, which is like, what what is it like to to not be touring constantly? And uh, and that's what we had been doing for 10 years, thankfully, as a job, because it's a beautiful job to have. But like the answer I got was, oh, it's actually quite good to be on your own for a bit, just feeling into some stuff, uh, not constantly um, distracting yourself. And, and so, yeah, the album essentially for me, it feels like a bit of a, a cathartic like a healing experience we wrote it all of it last year 2021 some of the songs these two singles that have come out hold out help me me myself were written in august 2021 they're out now do you know what i mean that's a huge difference between us in, the, in our past records where sometimes you'd have a song that you'd be playing live for a few years before you'd get it out this is like six months ago eight months ago whatever and there you are there's the songs and it's done and we we, we get to go and play them live me and Alfie wrote them kind of like most of them over Zoom because uh, we're not in the same country. And then we came together and, and finished them off together. And it was like I gave my favorite ones of Alfie's and Alfie gave his favorite ones of mine. And we just kind of collaborated to help each other finish the songs that we had on the go. And yeah, it just felt it felt really um, I felt like a really healing. It, felt like it was a really healing experience to, to write this album and just super excited to get out and playing it live. I know, of course, plenty Irish dates coming. Um, but Alfie, I have to ask now, I was chatting to Faye from Soda Blonde last weekend and um, oh, yeah. you know, she was saying and she she touched on that. It's so great that, you know, the time of lockdown and, you know, being apart um, really made them realize that this is what they really want to do. They, they don't want to go anywhere. And I also was chatting to Wild Youth a few weeks ago and they said the exact same thing. Once everything lifted, they were ready to get back there. So did you find that as well? You know, it just made you realize, made you hungry, made you want it more. And, you know, luckily bo you both are here still making music. One of you didn't decide, you know what, I'm actually going to completely walk away from this. Yeah, no, exactly. It's just, it's, um, it's such a, like it just it, the, the whole pandemic kind of just rendered our job like pointless almost you know for a little while like it was like well, well what do we do if we don't tour and, and play music to people um so in a way yeah I feel like now things are opening up actually we have a purpose again you know our job has a purpose and uh yeah it feels it feels really really good and particularly like this summer I just have a really good feeling about the gigs this summer because the first with no restri like restrictions at a gig you just never would have heard that like four years ago you know there was no such thing so we're back to yeah like a proper gig environment and I think people are um yeah people are it's going to be showing in the crowds you know pe people are going to bring that excitement as are we you know Oh, I think it's just going to be great to get back on a stage. And I think as well, you know, all your fans are going to be out there. And of course, we mentioned this Irish gig now a few times. So I have the dates here in front of me. Mm -hmm. We're kicking off on the 3rd of June in Wexford. Going, of course, the uh, Three Olympia in Dublin. You're going to Tipperary, Galway, Belfast, Derry, Cork, and our very own Dolans in Limerick. Yeah. On the 16th of June, onto Drogheda, onto Kilkenny. I mean, some serious dates thrown out there. So, um, Harry, do tell us, how is it to be coming back home and then to tour so many dates across Ireland 
Yeah, it's, it's actually quite beautiful to get home. Uh, you know, we, we grew up obviously in Ireland and both of us don't live at home at the moment. And so getting home to, to, to first of all, to see home, but then to play shows, it's like, yeah, it, it really is like that double whammy um, for, for us, I think, at least for me anyway. And um, yeah, we get to see family. We get to see friends that we haven't seen for a while. And we get to kind of put on a show in, 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 in at home town. And every, it's weird, every single town in Ireland because we've played in most of them a few times, like it feels like your hometown, you know, and it, it, it's great crack. So I just look forward to it so much. Oh no, it's going to be absolutely incredible. And I'm sure as well, like for, for you guys and, um, you know, Alfie, for, I'll direct this one to you. Um, do you find now as you, as like Harry mentioned there that, you know, sometimes these, these towns now, all, every town kind of almost feels like a hometown. Is that because, you know, do you get to know your localized fans as well? And, you know, do you get to know, like some say if you're in Dolan's or kind of like you recognize some of the fans that have been there from the start? Absolutely, yeah, and it's not it's not just um like people coming to our shows. Like, what's nice about that anyway is that we've been playing in these places, like in Cork, for example, and in Limerick, we've been playing for the last eight nine years. So we've like grown up with people, you know, um, in, in these places, but also uh like the staff in all these places and, and the people putting on the shows and behind the scenes, like there are other people that we would have seen every year that we just haven't seen in three years, and it's so good to see people still out working, putting on shows and, and yeah, all the stuff behind the scenes. That's also another huge part of it that I love talking to people and, catch, you know, all the catching up you get to do. Also, you meet other Irish bands along the way and that's always like always a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, and you make friends everywhere you go, really. Um, uh, yeah. So, so it's, yeah, it's, it's going to be really, really nice. I can't, I can't wait. It's like, it's such a homecoming, you know, luckily over the last year, we've been able to come back a bit more and um, yeah, it's just, it gives me goosebumps thinking about it, you know, um, I really can't wait. Like, Oh, it's going to be absolutely incredible. And just a reminder, of course, kicking off June 3rd in Wexford, loads of different dates across Ireland, as I mentioned there as well, Dolan's Limerick on the 16th of June and all the way through to Kilkenny on the 9th of July. And uh, we should also remind everyone that your single Hold Out Hope is out now. Third album coming to loads of excitement, loads of plans. Hudson Taylor, Harry August Alfie. Thank you so much, as always. Uh, absolute pleasure. Thank you so much.